Welcome to Children's Liturgy of the Word for the 28th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Please join us as we sing our opening song. This little light of In today's first reading, the prophet Isaiah says that God pours out great blessings, joy, and peace on all who come to his table. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. On this mountain, the Lord all-powerful will prepare all nations a feast of finest foods. Choice wines and the best meats will be served. Here the Lord will strip away the funeral clothes that have covered the nations, and the Lord, all-powerful, will destroy the power of death and wipe away each tear. No longer will his people be embarrassed everywhere. The Lord has spoken. On that day, people will say, the Lord God has saved us. Let's celebrate. We waited and waited, and now he is here. A powerful arm of the Lord will protect this mountain. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Please respond. I shall live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. You, Lord, are my shepherd. I will never be in need. You let me rest in fields of bright green grass. You lead me to streams of peaceful water. You refresh my life. I shall live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. I may walk through the valleys as dark as death, but I won't be afraid. You are with me. You treat me to a feast. You honor me as your guest. I shall live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. Your kindness and love will always be with me each day of my life. I will live forever in your house, Lord. I shall live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. In today's second reading, St. Paul reminds us that even when we have worries and troubles, God is present to give us strength. A reading from the letter of Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, I know what it is to be poor or to have plenty. I have lived under all kinds of conditions. I know what it means to be full or to be hungry, to have too much or too little. Christ gives me strength to face everything. It was good of you to help me when I was having such a hard time. I pray that God will take care of all your needs with the wonderful blessings that come from Christ Jesus. May God our Father it be praised forever and ever Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Please stand. Alleluia, 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 praise ye the Lord. Alleluia, 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 praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Alleluia, praise Praise ye the Lord. 
Can you imagine getting an invitation to God's table and saying no because you think you have better things to do? In today's gospel, Jesus tells a parable about some people who do that very thing. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus used this story to teach people. The kingdom of heaven is like what happened when a king gave a wedding banquet for his son. The king sent some servants to tell the invited guests to come to a banquet, but the guests refused. He sent another servant to say to the guests, the banquet is ready. My cattle and my and prized calves have to be prepared. Everything is ready. Come to the banquet. But the guests did not pay any attention. Some of them left for their farms, and some went to their places of business. Others grabbed the servants, beat them up, and killed them. This made the king so furious that he went, he sent an army to kill those murderers and burn down their city. And then he said to the servants, it is time for the wedding banquet. The guests don't deserve to come. Go out to the street corners and tell everyone you meet to come to the banquet. They went out on the streets and brought in everyone they could find, the good and the bad alike. And the banquet room was filled with guests. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Yay, it's party time. I love parties. It doesn't matter if it's a party with my friends or a party with family. It doesn't matter if it's a swim party or a slumber party. It doesn't matter if it's a baby shower or a wedding. If it's a party, I'm there. How about you all? Raise your left hand if you love parties. Awesome, just like me. Now leave your hand up and touch your nose with your right hand if you like birthday parties. Bob your head if you like slumber parties. Stick out your tongue if you like swim parties. Lift up your feet if you like weddings. <laughs> and wiggle all over if you like Christmas parties. Good job. Today in our gospel, the reading talked about having a party. Do you remember your last birthday party? Did you pick out Scooby-Doo plates? A Paw Patrol cake? Maybe frozen napkins? Or Spider-Man balloons? So imagine that your birthday is coming soon and your mom or dad asks you what kind of party you might like. What kind of cake do you want? What kind of ice cream? What kind of decorations? What kind of games or activities do you want to play? What kind of take-home treats and goodie bags do you want to give your guests? And finally, whom do you want to invite? Now that we have the party all ready to go and the guests invited, we are like the king in today's gospel who prepared a party for his son. What happened in the story, though? That's right, the invited guest didn't come. So suppose you're getting ready for the party to begin at two o'clock and no one comes. Well, your mom or dad would get on their cell phones and start calling the parents of the guests. They might hear these excuses though. Oh, my son can't come because he has a baseball game. Oh, Mary can't come because she has a dance competition this afternoon. My son Jimmy decided he wanted to play his new computer game today. Meredith has piano lessons. You would be so sad and disappointed, but your mom and dad would know what to do. They would continue to make calls and invite others to come to the party. And when those friends arrived, it would turn out to be the best party ever. Jesus invites us to follow him to be his friend and come to his party, his feast, every week, which is the Mass. 
And so today, we celebrate another party with Jesus. And look, we're all guests here today. Please stand for the profession of faith. Respond to each question with the words, I do. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty? I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord? I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, Lord and giver of life? I do. As people who have answered God's invitation to come to this place, let us bring to him in prayer all those we care about. Our response to each petition will be, Hear us, O Lord. For all priests and bishops who today are leading Eucharistic celebrations throughout the world, we pray, Hear, Hear us, O Lord. For the members of this parish family who are here with us today and those who are at home, we pray, Hear, Hear us, O Lord. For all the members of our parish who are homebound or ill or in the hospital, we pray, Hear, Hear us, O Lord. Heavenly Father, you have called us here to celebrate life, death, resurrection, and the ascension of your Son, Jesus. May this Eucharistic feast strengthen us in our living out of our faith. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Love.